Welcome to Milford Haven, Wales largest port, one of the biggest in the UK and pretty much as far west as we can go in the UK. Let's go on an adventure. Hello mate. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm stable mobile. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I think we'll explore the port and have a look around, uh, around here and see what we can find. So, the weather's not the best today. You can only imagine what kind of ships come in and out of there. Quite, uh, quite a lot of history for Milford Haven. Just sad to see that uh, not as much happens here anymore, but uh, let's cross this lock first. I think I found our ferry to uh, to Ireland. Let's get in. Not leaving for a few more hours though. Some British uh, artwork there. A good old penis. On some sort of fort, I think. Really interesting. Look at this. This is cool. Not too sure what it is exactly, but it looks like some sort of fort. Cool little bridge. Obviously gone to disrepair now. But uh, look at that. Really sad to see things like this go to waste. That is one place you would not want to end up being in. Wonder how deep that is. And this is how some of the people live in Milford Haven and uh, yeah this is quite cool look at that even got a cat a boat cat looks like a Maine Coon I don't know if you can see it he looks like he's living his best life not a care in the world I love that absolutely love that oh look another cat two of them living their best lives now that is how it's done Well, there wasn't much in the port, so let's see if uh, there's anything in the town centre. Let me get something to eat. Let's see if we can find a greasy fry up. Let's go. This is a bad sign when uh, Greg's is closed down. But look at this on another note a dog that drives. Milford Haven. Excuse me, can you recommend anywhere for breakfast? What now? Yeah, well, anything to eat, any like greasy kind of fryer place or... McDonald's? No, I was thinking somewhere local. Yeah, somewhere local. Well, McDonald's is down the road. Down oh, the there we are, go and try um, them. Where the hell would you get a breakfast in the shit all? <laughs> shit all, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. It isn't is it? a good word to describe it because it is a shit all. Are you from Milford? I am. Okay. I'm, Not I'm... that I want to be. <laughs> no, no, no. You lived all your life? No, I was born in Mid Wales, Newtown Powers. Ah, so you moved down to this shit all, from one shit all to another? But I'd rather be in Newtown Powers. At least there's. At least we've got a main street there. Yeah, there's You've nothing. got nothing here. It's, Absolutely it's, it's nothing. really sad, isn't it, to see? Um, I'm just trying to think. Hang on. A breakfast. Oh, up the top. Just up here. Can you see there's some seats outside? Yeah. Go past. Yeah. There's some seats outside. Yeah. Not the first one, the second one. Yeah, I'll give them a try. Good. Are they lovely? Okay, I'll give them it's a try. It's called Pembrokes, you promise. Oh, I'll give them a try now then. And I tell you, the two young girls in there, they're lovely, brilliant. And everything's fresh. Lovely, I'll go and give them a try now. Do I'll have a little walk down here, I'll go back up there. Yeah. Lovely, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. No sure what this is. Looks like a little small mini mall or something. Sounds funky anyway. Really funky. No money or valuables left on these premises overnight. Let's see if we can uh, get something to eat in Newland. Face coverings must be worn beyond this point. 2024. Crazy times. So, uh, typical British breakfast. Let's see what it tastes like. Doesn't seem to be much in, uh, in Milford. Quite a lot of empty shops, but 
just had breakfast in this cafe and uh, the, the guys around us said McDonald's has just opened in Milford Haven so that is the big news for Milford Haven McDonald's interesting let's go and check the rest of the high street you've got a lot of these dotted around and uh, this one honour and glory to those of this town who made the supreme sacrifice we shall remember them get all those names on that cenotaph Mansell, Martin, McKay, Matthias, Morris, you know, there's quite a few different names on there. Really sad, really sad. This is just sign of the times, but look at this street. This is uh, Barlow Street and uh, look at that. Not sure that's uh, still open. Starboard Hotel. Thank you. Just walking down uh, one of the streets in uh, Milford Haven. There's not really much here, it's not much to kind of explore. It's quite sad and uh, really, uh, really depressing to be honest with you. But what can I say? Excuse me, do you know if that's the old police station? Um, that's, yeah. Yeah, oh, I didn't realise they'd actually. It's for sale. Finished. Yeah, it's been for sale for several months. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where they've gone to though. I, I hadn't even observed the fact that they're not operating there anymore. Yeah. But yeah, it's been on the market for several months. Just decided to pull out. I don't know. I don't know why. Well, that's sad though, isn't it? I mean, I don't know even know where they're located now. Whether they joined with Harford West or what. It's probably easier, isn't it? Never mind. Nice building though. Huh. Doesn't give you much sense of security, does it? <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> Sign of the times, I guess. They'd probably play Brexit though, so... You what? They'd play Brexit, probably. <laughs> Never mind. No, it wasn't that long ago, actually. It's, yeah. only, it's only a few months it's been on the market, yeah. as far as I know. Sad, very sad. Anyway, never mind. Lovely, thank you. Okay. Well, look at that, what does that tell you? She didn't even know the police station had closed. Never mind. Let's see what else we can find in Milford Haven. I had to stop and uh, show you this. So, I see quite a lot of these in Wales. I think they did it through lockdown. So, uh, they're like a crochet thing on top of phone boxes. It just brightens them up a little bit. And uh, this, quite interesting because it's St. David's Day tomorrow. So, we've got the dragon. Naturally, we've got a sheep. And we've got the St. David's flag. Look at that. Just brightening up the old uh, post boxes. So I thought I'd come over to the Pembrokeshire side. Um, we just crossed the Clear Thy River um, over that bridge over there. There used to be um, a toll bridge. So they used to charge to come over that. It used to be about 60, 70 pence, but they've scrapped that a couple of years ago. But I thought I'd come and show you these forts. So. This one here, uh, Martello, I think it's called. Um, I haven't been here for a few years, but this one comes with its own little yellow dinghy look. So look at that. But it reminds me of uh, Fort Boyard. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it's a bit of nostalgia. So the 80s, 90s uh, program. I think that was filmed in France. But these things always reminded me of, uh, of that. But I wanted to show you these um, mosaics as well on the walls. So, there's quite a few of these scattered around and these ones have got a bit of history on them and uh, we're not going to look at them all now but some of them have got the forts on them. There's quite, quite a lot of military based stuff in Pembrokeshire and they've got a military cemetery as well and uh, I did see something online the other day quite fascinated that they made part of something to do with Star Wars in Pembroke, uh, Pembroke Dock even, I'm not too sure, 
what that was, but I, I'm not a Star Wars fan. So I'll um, leave you guys look that one up. But yeah, we'll go and have a look at these other forts now and go from there. So I thought I'd just show you these quickly. Just come across them. So these are old uh, military buildings and uh, they're abandoned, but absolutely beautiful. The stonework's incredible. And uh, these are on the dock, so they must have been linked to something. I'm not too, not too sure what. But just look at the uh, the work that's gone into them, and they just left. It's quite sad, really, isn't it, to see? And uh, obviously they're boarded up, so they've been like this a long time. But there's one, there's one over here, and it's got like a glass front. So I don't know whether they've started to do it up or whether it was kind of purchased and then turned into something else but uh, this would make an amazing coffee shop and probably like a hotel look at that absolute beautiful there's quite a few of them well, uh, I feel like I'm in some some part of London you'd never see here in Pembroke Dock you know the lighting everything's just got this nice aesthetic and uh, these buildings yeah you just wouldn't expect it. Almost like, not even London, maybe Bath or something like that, but nope. We're in Pembroke Dock in Wales. And whether someone lives in these. Um, it's quite a bit of rubbish outside one of them. So, yeah, quite, quite sad to see. But maybe I need to do a bit more research on these and come back. But it does feel um, like apocalyptic. I can't explain it. It's it's quite uh, it's quite sad to see these beautiful buildings just left empty. Whether a couple of people live in or any of them, I'm not too sure. But what I'll do, I'll have a look, I'll do some research, and if we want to come back, we can come back. But yeah, it just feels like we're in some part of London. Anyway, let's get on to the last fort. So this is the last stop for us. I just thought I'd show you this can really quickly. And look at this view. So we were just on the other side of the clear thigh over there. You've got a few tugboats. I think that's LNG on that side. Um, they provide, I'm sure that was fuel, maybe gas. One of them is either one anyway. So one's gas, one's fuel, vice versa. But uh, yeah, it's a busy, busy port. Like you can see the ships where we were about earlier. It's quite windy, so I'm not too sure if you can hear it. But um, I'll show you the last fort. And, uh, look at that. This one's used a lot more. I think it's been privately bought. And uh, you can see up the top, there's a couple of helmets and things like that. So this must be occupied by, by some sort of enthusiast or collector. Um, they got like a couple of like tank stops or something. I know what that's a little look. So let's go down here and my ass. Let's have a little look. So look at this. I think it's a tank stop, but yeah, looks amazing. Anyway guys, I've uh, pretty much come to the end of this journey and this has been a good fun one, I've enjoyed this and it's met some really fun people, some absolute head cases in this little haven. And, uh, anyway, enjoy and I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.